Hey everybody, um, today we are going to be discussing modules. Okay, so a quick review about what a module is. You might have not heard this term for quite a while, so let's do a quick refresher. Uh, modular designs feature many layouts within a big layout, so it's almost like we use all these little pieces of the puzzle to create our big picture. So it's the small stories within the big picture. Um, you could equate it to chapters in a novel, right? It's the little pieces that make up the big spread. So um, there's usually a variety of stories in each module. Like each module is its own story to create a variety of stories on our spread. Um, one of the most important things about the different modules is they let us cover a lot of people um, in each yearbook spread. So the more, not the more modules we have, but using the modules with the different little mini stories helps us to cover more students on each yearbook spread. Modular design. Um, it encourages us to be creative. It lets us um, have some fun with how we display our photos and how we display our stories. It's not just a picture on the left, story on the right, move on. We can put our pictures and our quotes in a variety of different ways. Our statistics can be presented uniquely. Um, modules really allow us to make our storytelling more unique and more interesting. Um, so they also allow us to have quick reads and infographics. So like I said, you know, we're doing our teacher features right now and we did a survey and we're going to get some data from that survey so we can take that data and turn it into a quick infographic like a chart pie chart bar chart um timeline whatever and we can use that to have an interesting infographic to kind of shake up our page a little bit and have more than just words and pictures and then um there's a lot more photos displayed when we use modules so we are um, able to do little montages of different events and whatnot um, to make our bigger picture of the spread more interesting. Okay, so just a quick refresher again. Here we have a spread. So this would be two pages in the yearbook if we had our book open and flat. And so we have our dominant module here in the big um, pink box and it has pictures, it has our story. We have a unique one over here a one, two, three, and we're getting quotes from different students. We have their information. Um, and then we have another one down here, loud and proud. So we have our headline over here. We have another headline over here. We have three different stories, but all of them have to do with fine arts. They all come together. These pieces all come together to make this big picture about fine arts. And here's another example. We can tell we're looking at runners, right? So we have some statistics down here. We have, um, it looks like a brief story about a group. We have a race over here. We have our dominant module, which has our primary story in it. We have a timeline. And then we have this um, long module that looks like we have quotes from a variety of students. So all of these are different stories and different aspects within the realm of these, what I'm assuming are cross-country runners, okay? So um, our little modules all pull together to make one big story. So when you go in to Layout Pro, you are going to be practicing, and this is not today, this is gonna be in a couple days. You're gonna be practicing with your modules. You're gonna see what modules they offer, which is super awesome. It saves us time because they have module templates, okay? now. The thing about modules is they come in different shapes and sizes, okay? So they, you might be able to have similar templates in each shape and size, but as we put them together, if you look over here, we have small square one, small rectangular one, large rectangular one, okay? So in Jostens, they offer these. We have our orange module, which is the large square. Blue is um, the small square. We have our green, which is formatted in a large rectangle. Purple is a small rectangle, and the pink modules are the long ones and they go typically across the top or the bottom of the page sometimes in the middle but that can be tricky depending upon what your content is okay now what i did on this slide um if you want to go into layout pro just click around and explore don't create anything just look around you are welcome to and you're going to be utilizing this resource more on Thursday. So um, in our orange module, like I said, it's a large square format. I want you to check out modulars 91, 94, 102. I gave you the numbers. Whenever you go into Layout Pro to look these up, it is titled modular 
91. And you'll go into Layout Pro, go to the Design tab, and there's a little, um, there's a drop, let's see, there's a drop down, and uh, it says Modular, and you click on it. So if you wanna look at the orange modules, click on Orange Modular. So it's very, very simple. Blue, green, same thing. I labeled what shape it is and which modules I recommend you check out. And I did a little reminders here. Remember at the top and bottom of the spreads is where you find this long rectangular shape module. And um, the orange module is typically the biggest. It's our dominant module on the page. Now, what's the purpose of the colors you ask? The reason they're color coded is so that whenever you're in Jostens in Layout Pro, you can very easily navigate to the shape and size module that you want. That's pretty much it. It's for organizational purposes, so it's easy to find the, um, the resources that we need. Okay, so we have, just a refresher, we have discussed what modules we have available in Layout Pro. We got a refresher on what exactly a module is, and these are tips that Justin gives us and helpful information about modules. So if you have questions and you wanna do more exploring, then um, I shared in this video, let me know, let Miss Waters know. We are happy to help you out and we hope you have a 